Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on cryptography and network security lab. So today we are going to look at program 14. So like and share the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for notifications on latest videos. So the aim of program 14 is uh, actually from this program onwards the second cycle which is related to network security will start. So the first program in network security lab cycle is this one. So they are asking us to do different tasks, actually three tasks. So the first one is find the IP address of the machine and also MAC address of your machine or system. And then uh, the second task is you have to find the neighboring machines which are there in your network. Okay, so your computer should be already connected to your network, either wireless or wired connection, it doesn't matter. And the third task is, they're asking us to check whether a particular server is up and running. Okay, basically what we do for the third one is, uh, it's enough you if you just ping the server. So if you ping the server and if the ping is successful, you can say that the server is up. Okay, so the software we need for doing this uh, program is Nmap. Okay, Nmap is network mapper which is widely used by security personnel all, all over the world. So generally this software is used for network reconnaissance that is if you want to scan the network and find which systems are running and on a particular system what services are running you can do all these things using nmap actually you can do much much more using nmap uh, so a lot of things can be done but all those things will not be covered in this right uh, so let's see the demonstration uh, for this program So first one is they are asking us to find the IP address and MAC address, right? So open the run prompt and open the command prompt like this and type the command IP config and hit enter. Okay. So this command shows you different network interfaces your system supports. So this is Ethernet interface and I have installed VirtualBox, so it is showing VirtualBox interface also. So what I want to find is, or what I'm interested in is, I want to find the IP address for my Wi-Fi. Right now I am connected through Wi-Fi. So this is the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. And here is the IP address, 192.168.0.180. So this is IP version 4 address of my system. Okay. So this is how you find the IP address. but they are also asking us to find the MAC address, right? But it is not being displayed here. So Wi-Fi will have MAC address also. All these other things also will have the MAC address or also called as physical address. So how to see the physical address is type again the command IP config, but this time give a space and give a slash and type all. Okay, IP config space slash all and hit enter. This time you will get much more information than the previous one. Now again go to Wi-Fi uh, interface and here you can now see the physical address, right? This this one. So this is the physical address. This 44850039 B7. So this physical address will be unique for every net network interface, okay? So similarly, if you want to find your Ethernet uh, uh, physical address, you can see here. Ethernet adapter physical address is different. Okay, so the virtual box uh, interface will also have their own MAC addresses. Of course, these are virtual, these are not real, but you will anyway have them. Okay, so you can see the physical address and also you can see uh, the IP address also here. Okay, so this is the first task they are asking us to do in the program. So the second task is they want us uh, to find the other systems in the network, right? So for that, 
you have to open gen map so in the previous video i already shown you how to download and install this nmap software so it also provides gen map the gui version so open this gen map right so this is the interface for gen map so at the top you have uh, two things actually which you can select so first one is target that is the target ip address or range of ip addresses you want to scan and on the other other side that is right side of the target you have something called profile so here a list of profiles will be displayed to you so do you want intense scan or regular scan or do you want a quick scan or do you want to perform a ping scan like that so default one is intense scan and below the profile and target you can see another thing called command okay so whenever you change this profile you can see the command is also changing so for ping scan then map command is this one okay right so it automatically generates the command if you change that okay so regular scan is nmap only so if you see slow comprehensive scan you will get a long command okay so we will do a quick scan so quick scan command is this uh, if you are interested in finding out if you if you are interested in knowing out what is this t option what is this f option and all these things you can google them okay right now uh let me again open the command prompt and give me the ip and show you the ip address of my system so the command is ip config so the ip address is 192.168.0.182 right so here let me give the target as 192.168.0.1 dash 255 so what is the meaning of this is i am going to scan the range of ip addresses from 192.168.0.1 to 192.168.0.255 okay so i am going to scan this 255 addresses right and i am going to do a quick scan so i want fast results so i am selecting quick scan sometimes when you select quick scan uh, some of the systems might not be shown okay so if you want uh, to see all the systems and if you have so much time you can select this one slow comprehensive scan so anyway i am selecting quick, quick scan and you have to click on scan button here scan okay so it is saying starting and map so the actual software is nmap which is a command line tool and on top of nmap they have created this gen map so genmap is gui version okay so the results are being shown so at the bottom you can see it scanned 255 ip addresses and it is saying three hosts are running so in, in my network there are currently uh, three hosts that is three systems which are running so the first system is having ip address this one so it is saying the name of the system is hp and there is second system with ip address 0.236 and it's saying the system name is tarun okay and third one is this is my system okay ip address is this and these are the services running on my system okay so this is how you can scan your network and find which systems are running using genmap right now the third task they asked us to do is uh, if if you have to check whether a particular uh, server is running or not so let's assume that the server ip address is 192.168.0.1 actually this ip address belongs to the router okay so in the profile uh, let's see okay let's try this you know I think this will take much time so let's go with intense scan okay so this is the command so ip address is this and click scan
so this will take some time but anyhow let's see uh, actually uh, in instead of intense scan you can do ping scan to get quick results just to check whether the system is server is running or not you can do a ping scan but let's see what the intense scan will do and i will show you ping scan later after this is completed mm, so you can see here it is scanning this ip address mm, so it has completed our ping scan arp address resolution protocol layer 2 ping okay and it has initiated syn shell scan so syn belongs to tcp protocol so it is scanning thousand ports on this so it has already discovered an open port 80 which is running on this server and also it has discovered another port 53 which is running on this same server and then it has completed syn shell scan on all the thousand ports now it is initiating service scan so service scan means it is going to detect which services are running so it has identified two ports no two open ports so it is going to identify which services are running on these two ports 80 and 53 so let's wait for some time and see what it will show us Okay, so it is taking too much time so I am going to cancel the scan uh, if you want you can keep it like that on your system and see what will oh uh, yeah it has completed service scan now it is initiating voice detection it is also going to try and find out what is the op operating system being run okay so it has started script scanning so nmap comes with so many pre-installed scripts it will run those scripts against this ip address okay it has completed right so it is showing so much data here uh, yes so port number 53 it is saying that it is dns service and also it is giving me the version right and port 80 it is saying that it, there is a http server running here okay so it is showing the http header uh, home page which will be shown okay so here it is showing the os the operating system so it is saying that it is linux 3.x version okay and it is showing some other details and here it is showing the trace route information for the router okay so this is the information that you will get from intense scan okay but the actually the third task can be done very simply by selecting ping scan okay so this is the ping scan command let's click on scan okay so see how fast this is so it is saying that the host is up that means up means the server is running and it is also giving the mac address for that okay and it is saying that the router belongs to dealing company right so this is how you can use genmap okay that is the gui for nmap software uh, for finding the systems in your network and also for finding whether a particular server is running or not so that's it for this video thank you